and has too many penalties this game. Brutal Sim, what would you like to do? Now, it gives you this option. In season one, it was given this option. Season two, it didn't get an option. And then we made, we talked about it. And guess what? Now they have fixed it. They ninja patched it. It's all good, man. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great content from my daddy. Good afternoon out there in 2K land, man. Check this out, man. We got a great show for y'all today, man, because we got to ask the questions. We're going to ask the hard questions, pause, about how this game is going. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What people think about it? All that stuff. The boy EJ, he asked, is it already gone? Or uh, we had some stuff over the weekend going on and all of that stuff, man. We're going to get right into it. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment to y'all thoughts down below because y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. Check it out, man. We got the They Not Like Us shirt. Uh, you know, the uh, it's They Not Like Us holiday shirt, man. You got that boy Santa. You got uh, Bruce Willis up there, Yippie Kaye. Even though I say that uh, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie, everybody say it is. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. We got uh, the Grinch, Gucci Grinch, Grinchy Mane, LaFleur right there. Kevin and Jack Skellington, man. All the famous stuff. From the same man and check it out man we even got it in the store for y'all man come check it out we got that deadpool up there somebody was asking for that i forgot to put it up there it is up there we also have the uh christmas day not like us we got the shirts we got the hoodies we got everything man get your brief tees in the breeze when you're rocking with breeze tees if you got your own clothing brand holler at your boy if you need stuff printed man look we got these joints for y'all man we got the dtf transfers custom print go come come holler at your boy man but anyway before we get through that man this is what i want to talk to y'all about man that boy dime work man he just said listen man dudes when dudes choose to play buddy ball over a w man and like right here right here you see it right here hopefully it's not playing in the background and then like that i hope i got the uh stuff down i didn't but hey we got it look look they're in the fourth dime work is wide open in the corner uh yeah he, he's not gonna touch the basketball and this is how it is a lot of times bro when 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 you do that like this is a common occurrence like he wide open in the corner he's shooting 67 percent from three 14 points by the fourth yo you're not seeing that basketball again one time man i ain't gonna lie to you i scored 15 points in the first quarter three uh all threes five for five from three guess what happened did not touch that basketball one more time. That boy Black Cobra echoes the sentiment, man. He said the stat sheet doesn't doesn't add context, but this is my first random wreck game of season two, and it'll be my last. I hate random PGs with a burning passion. <laughs> with a burning passion. Uh, I was one for two at the end of the half. Uh, I had, I mean, had it not been for the center feeding me the rock, we could, I mean, when he could, we would have lost. And then look, check out right here. This is how it always is, man. You got a good percentage. Black Cobra shooting seven for eight from th uh, from the field, one for two from three. Uh, the guard shooting nine for 18, but he gonna keep chucking that thing, man. This is how we do it, man. But look, I gotta show y'all something that's even crazier. Like this is the stuff that you go through when you play with randoms, man. It just, it just is how it is, man. Check this out right here, but we gonna play this. Look, look what happens. Come down court. Look, dude takes a bad shot or whatever. I get the rebound, kick it out, you know, on the break. I'm going to be unselfish. What happens? Come down, set a little screen. He takes a horrible shot. Guess who gets the offensive rebound? Your boy. Then I leak out to the corner, wide open this entire possession. Entire possession, wide open. I'm one for two from three. You know what I'm saying? Wide open. He goes to the rim and 2K allows him to dunk the basketball. And I got no problem with 2K allowing him to dunk the basketball, except for that was not a good play. And when you reward bad play, man, 2K, uh, you, you, you teach people how to play bad when you reward bad gameplay, man. That's just how it is, because people are not going to, to, to play better un until you do something about it. Just like with the fouling out, man. Look, the, the Brute, me and Brute was talking about the fouling out last week. Gambit brought it to our attention. Chris Moore brought it to the world's attention, too. Me and Brute brought it to everybody's attention. Everybody was saying, ha, ha, it's been like that. It's going to be like that. Shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up, bro. Y'all just want to be able to cheese the game and not ever have to try to even think about getting better like what Hard Eight say, bro. Listen to this, man. Look. Did Brute now showed y'all at the beginning of the season. They said it was like this all last year. People just wasn't hip to it. And I knew that was a lie, but hey, it is what it is. People will say anything to try to keep to keep the status quo because they want things to go the way that they want them to go so they can continue to cheese the system. This dude will say, hey, biggest bacon has too many penalties this game. Brutal Sim, what would you like to do? Now, it gives you this option. In season one, it was given this option. Season two, it didn't get an option. And then we made, we talked about it. And guess what? Now they have fixed it. They ninja patched it. 
it's all good man so look that's much better right there but i want to ask y'all man who is playing 2k man because this is hey my boys already stopped playing 2k i haven't stopped playing 2k i'm still playing it i'm gonna keep playing it but hey drewski said hey man he said man hey, hey shit. like that what it is man what he said with that with that uh what's the night he hit shit that's what he say man hey man that's how it is it feels like that because this game is very mentally draining mentally taxing it and it is because a lot of times you play the game you're trying to hoop and stuff like this is going to happen when you're just trying to hoop we had the cages this weekend man and look bro hey look he shot that thing with a boy say Get that out of here. Shoot that thing again, PP. Shit out of here, nigga. Hey, man, you're not going to get a shot up in this. It's a method to it, man. Hey, what that boy said. Shit out of here, nigga. Hey, man. Dang, what well, Andy got, bro. Bro, how you get graded out from out that, here, bro, with a deep Oh, Lord. Here, Lord. Lord, BP, get a pass here, up. Nigga. Why they keep passing you the ball, man? This is bad. This is horrible. But, hey, man, you got to hey, you gotta play the game, man. I didn't know you could get put out from that, man. Like, it is what it is. But, hey, it, it's it's a troll, man. It's all troll. I, I knew that Cages was one of the most popular things in the game, and it always has been. You can see that by this weekend. But, hey, I'm cool with it. I didn't play at all this weekend. I was helping my sister look for some uh some automobiles and stuff, so I wasn't messing with it, man. Up next, hey, we got this thing. that uh, Boomy, uh, Boomy says, hey, uh, this context is important. Uh, context is important. Challenger doesn't expand the tight contest zone uh, as it does in dead as it does in dead eye, i.e., no ghost contest. Penalty to shooters, uh, penalty to shooters make percentage in contest zones is larger based on the uh, based on the badge level of Challenger. And then it just says, please stop these misleading messages. And so what what she's saying is, is this. Challenger does not, and I mean, this is one of them joints that they put out there, man. And Challenger, I mean, we, like, I thought, I've thought that this was always the case or whatever. I never had an issue with it or, or, or what have you. Um, we don't need, I think I was talking to T when he said, when, when we said it, and he was saying like, cause like, this was the, this was the joint from Hanky to Tanky, right? And he just says, hey, wow. So it's confirmed that the Challenger badge does not change the coverage, uh, the contest coverage. And then he just says the Legend Challenger will, Legend Challenger will get you the same contest as having no Challenger on your build. And then he just says, a hey, Legend Challenger is the same as not having the Challenger badge. And this is the part where it's misleading because even though it does not expand the contest zone, the quality of said contest is hot, could be higher in here. And this is something that they did not test for or what have you. So this is why I was saying that, um, this is why I was saying like this, this doesn't matter to me because it could be something, but it could be nothing because we all said that we wanted the aura to the aura to go away, i.e. the contest zone. We wanted this to go away. And like, cause this, this could be like half of the court sometimes depending on what challenges you had. But now it does not expand the zone but the quality of the contest may be higher. I don't know if they tested for that or not, but I do feel like the quality of the contest may be higher. But at the same time, man, I'm gonna take, take it with a grain of salt. And let me tell you why you take it with a grain of salt. Because it don't matter if you jump in, if you don't jump, it don't matter anyway. If you do not jump, hold up, is it this one right here? I think it's this one. Stop the cap. No, <laughs> uh, no, 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 it's not done. It's not done. Uh, oh, it's gotta be this one. If you don't jump, it doesn't matter, bro. They probably gonna hit the shot. I've been standing on top of people's toes. I got ledge and challenges standing on top of people's toes. Gambit, Gambit got ledge and challenges. You probably seen him get splashed up in this video. If you doesn't, if you don't jump, it doesn't matter. And that's just how it is, man. So we can run those tests like that, even though it is a very interesting test and it is some good data. It just confirms and reaffirms what we said. If you don't jump, it doesn't matter. So jump, bitch. Like that's all I can. That's all I can tell y'all. Say, but hey, man, look. Uh, what no, up next, man? What we got? I think this is where he said one man said, "Hey, respectfully, I'm gonna say what I gotta say. People don't want to say, uh, but if you out here saying that, saying that stuff like I'm the best or I do this stuff or dropping clips and etc., uh, it's the wrong, <laughs> it's the wrong you to be doing all that. Uh, but good luck to y'all boys, man. He's just saying, man, if you dropping them clips on that timeline and you doing all this stuff, man, it really doesn't make any difference because uh, this this the wrong year. Ain't nobody really paying attention to uh to the game.
right now. That's what it feels like. Up next, hey, we got that boy EJ. This is the main thing, the main course, the main PH to resist on. That boy EJ, he just asked me, hey, now that the NBA 2K has been out for two months, how y'all feeling? I'm gonna tell y'all what it is, man. This is when I start grinding because if you start grinding right here, you setting yourself up for next year. You gotta be grinding and doing your thing, but grinding for a different reason, man. So it, it, that's just how it go, man. But hey, we got uh, we got a few people up here and, and responding. My twin, hey, TJ, he just said, man, I feel like there's no reason to grind the game anymore. They don't show respect to their, uh, to their top creators. Events ran by cheaters. The game is too fluky. That's definitely uh, that's definitely true. Uh, to do any wages or anything, the game is not good. Black Ops 6 coming out coming out made uh made me open my eyes and realize that i was forcing myself to play the game that's tough right there my boy shy said shy said hey you never lied bro uh, i was so good at the beginning uh, uh, so good at the beginning though it was so good at the beginning then the post scores ruined the game and then the zens hey that's how i was man I said your comp peers kill the game never forget champ never forget i feel you right there on that one hey that boy uh swante said hey man you get taken out of <laughs> he said you get taken out of dunks od uh with a 99 dunk even though the bill even though the bills uh has like 68 blocks no interior pull you out of the animations and 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 send it i feel like uh it's happening way more after the patch it is definitely happening way more after the patch and that's crazy because it didn't happen at all prior to the patch but that's it but that's how it goes right there hey my man says blackout six uh that's how we feel hey man i'm not playing black ops 6 that much i might play it y'all let me know y'all know i started with call of duty and i came over to 2k and it just feels like for, to, to me I'm, I'm not playing the game to be competitive so i can be in a whole different type of echelon I, it, to me it really doesn't matter it's not a big deal but a lot of people they do play the game to be competitive and so is it fair to them to have a game that doesn't that doesn't allow competitive play at all or whatever i don't know they say one of the worst 2ks ever one of the most rng most fluky unfun infuriating 2k games i've ever played dang bro that, hey hold on we gotta drop damn shit Woo, i ain't gonna lie about that man he said he said I, I feel like uh feeling like i still can't find a solid squad to run with it's annoying being a shooter and can't have a solid squad or a big that's true because when you're a shooter shooter man and that's all you can do because you made your build to do three and d and you don't get a chance to do either that's that does suck man hey that boy sosa has it says a hey, 2k 2k gets boring too fast load up every day and see the same stuff doing the same same stuff doing the same stuff no poi uh no no pois in the game uh like like how nba live had, okay okay I was, I was like, what points of interest does he mean like nba 2k live to keep the game and to keep my attention and then the gameplay is mediocre af don't unlock the fun game until you hit ss4 uh, as a guard shoot stuff is butt uh but i heard my team is fine <laughs> that's crazy right there man he said, hey if they would have just toned down the momentum or move or remove it and let the player actually be the better player uh you you almost you're you're almost guaranteed a serious point swing if you start the game off dominating your opponent that's true and then he says hey and it's especially bad in 5v5 modes uh that and open up the green when that and open up the green window on shooting but but f it let dudes have fun man i don't think they needed to mess with the green window on shooting man because now like i said it's way too easy they didn't change the contest system we got to jump at everything i don't think that's a good way because fundamental basketball dictates that you do never leave your feet when you're on the perimeter. You don't leave your feet. You stay on your feet. You don't foul jump shooters and stuff like that. But they're putting us in a spot where if we would like to get a contest, we have to foul jump shooters. So, like, I, I don't know, man. But like we said, they say you make contested shots in real life. That's what people ask for. He said playable to some degree, but not enjoyable. It feels like the game. Uh, it feels like it's a game of who can get all the animations. You're right about that. You honestly can't tell who's who's good or who's bad anymore competing is fun when you're not able to oh no, competing is fun and when you're not able to do that uh it's it's demoralizing just my opinion though i can i can i can deal with that man said the game is a mess uh i had to walk away deleted it and <laughs> deleted it and playing other games i realized i shouldn't be stressing playing a game uh move on move on to what you like I, I definitely agree with that even when winning and shooting shooting well the game still feels like garbage the momentum system and shooting system suck i, I ain't hey, hey that's how you feel that's how you feel dude says it's booty we will forever <laughs> we will be forever the game 
that has never been game of the year that tells that tells you something hey i feel you right there and then last but not least my boy splashy splashy time splashy splash master splash meister says the game has no watch value dang that's tough right there dang. has no watch value and is not made to be played competitively in reality i don't think the game's that bad but it is worse uh it is the worst comp product ever put out every new game that comes out will kick will kidnap uh our player base and that's all we got to say, man. Every new game that come out gonna kidnap the player base, man. But hey, kidnap yourself and get one of these search man and these joints. Fire, man. I say these joints fire. I, I feel it, man. Like I definitely understand what they're saying. I do see it to, to I do share their perspective to some degree. Uh you do want to play the game and you would like to be able to just enjoy the game, play the game, do your thing, but it really just comes down to a lot of times that they're not going to allow it like 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 people that are not really good at the game or whatever they probably enjoying the game i i don't know uh but you know guys that don't play it that much they're probably enjoying the game because you know they dunk on people and they shoot shoot the ball uh while contested you're hitting contested shots you're hitting contested dunks and then it's just like you feel like you can't really do anything to set yourself apart i get it Shooting would set people apart, but now everybody can shoot the ball. Like you don't even have to take good quality shots. So like my biggest thing is you don't have to take good quality shots and there's really not a way to play defense uh, effectively against good players. Because just like I said earlier, like, like, um, like, like I said earlier in the year, very early in the year, like I don't think the game is gonna last a month just because I know how it is. It's very slow in some cases and people don't like slow gameplay. But not only that, you can't play no defense in this. You, you can't play no defense in this mother And then at the same time, uh, you know, but people saying they locking people up, they doing this and that. But like I said, once you play at higher levels, a skill-based matchmaking is, is, it makes the game very difficult. It is one of those things, man, where, where we could do whatever and we could we could try to do some stuff but uh it, 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 it's gonna require a lot of work they gotta start with defense man they gotta let you get more bumps on defense even though a lot of people are getting bumpy but but i want to get more bumps when i'm in the right position and i know he's coming back to me and i'm already standing there that should be a bump that just that's just how it should go but i could talk about this all day man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man we're gonna be uh, streaming today i'm giving away that 50 bucks today you just come to the stream man and and like i said i don't know what time i'm gonna be streaming it'll probably be sometime about the five or something maybe around eight but we're gonna get away that 50 bucks today man so just be in the stream and i'm gonna spin it and whoever's there we're gonna give it to somebody man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section uh subscribe if you're new go holler at a t-shirt or a hoodie and i'll holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town Gosh,